All right. So today in this video, I'm going to introduce a new AI coding tool or a platform called as rocket.new that allows you to build pretty much anything using AI. So whether you want to create a mobile app or let's say a web app, rocket.new got you covered. So it is as easy as just typing exactly what you want to build in plain English. And with the press of a button, the AI goes ahead and writes the code, test it out and shows you a live preview, which you can of course edit. And then once done, you can even go ahead and deploy the same directly all within this platform. Another interesting part is the integrations that this rocket.new platform has got. For example, let's say you want to incorporate a full-fledged user authentication system and a database. Well, you can incorporate the same within a single click using Superbase. Or let's say you can go ahead and add Stripe for collecting recurring monthly payments or configure recent to send emails in a single click. I mean, this platform has got a lot of these integrations too. So whether you want to create a Flutter-based project, uh, HTML or let's say React or even Next.js based project, well, rocket.new got you covered and today in this video I'll show you how you can build something cool using the platform so let's quickly get started. So this right here is rocket.new and this is the AI coding tool that I've been talking about. So the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and you will land on this page right here and now you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. So this right here is where all the magic happens. So towards the center, you can find an input box where you can go ahead and explain exactly what you want to build. And you can go ahead and click on the send button right here. And now the AI will soon start building your project. And now, as I mentioned earlier, you can go ahead and create a Flutter based project, HTML, Next.js or even React project. And as you can see, it says these are all the integrations that they support. For example, we have GitHub, Superbase, Figma, Netlify, Stripe, OpenAI, a couple of these AI providers. AdSense, Recent and Google Analytics. For example, let's say you want to add a full-fledged user authentication and database to your app. Well, you can simply go ahead and integrate it with Superbase in just a single click and add the same to your project. Or let's say you want to accept recurring monthly payments from your customers. Well, you can integrate Stripe or you want to configure your app to let's say send some emails. Well, you can go ahead and configure it to use Recent. I mean, it's fully feature packed. So first thing first, go ahead and click the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now to quickly begin, I'll go ahead and give a simple prompt in this input box right here. So this right here is the prompt I'll give and it says create a LinkedIn bio tool like Linktree where users can sign up for a new account and add all their social media handles and we give them a short link where all the links are nicely displayed on the screen. So basically we want to create an app similar to Linktree. Okay, so that is basically what we're trying to build. And now you can find an attach button towards the bottom. For example, let's say you want to attach some screenshots for reference or take design inspiration from, well, you can go ahead and drop it in here. And now if you want to let's say turn a Figma design into code, well, you have options for that too. And now this is the, let's say the prompt that I'll give, or let's say the initial prompt I'll give. And now I'll go ahead and click on the send button right here. And now it says understanding request. So it will take some time. So let's wait. All right. So it says I can certainly help you with that. And just let me know what would you like to develop, whether a web app or a mobile app. So in this case, I want to build a web app. So I'll select this option. So if you want to create a mobile app, well, rocket.new got you covered. For this one, I'll click on this confirm. All right. And now it is showing us the default framework that the AI is about to use. So in this case, it is using React, JavaScript and Tailwind CSS. And that looks good to me. Now, if you want to customize the framework and all the text stack, well, you can go ahead and click on this customize framework option and do that. So in this case, this one looks good. So I'll click on use default framework. All right. So the AI is now asking us select the screens you wish to build from the list below. OK, so after analyzing all these prompts and all the inputs that the AI has taken from us, it has created the list of all the pages or let's say screens that we want the AI to build. And now the AI is giving us the option to select the screens that we want it to build. In this case, we need user registration, login, dashboard, add edit link, profile customization, public profile page, analytics page and also let's say account settings. And now I'll go ahead and click on this build my app option. So let's wait. And now what happens is that the AI will go ahead and iteratively build each of these pages and write the code. And once everything is done, it will show us a preview. So it says I'm generating screens for your app and you can find all these screens that you selected. And currently all of that is in progress. And now the AI is writing the code. And once that's done, like after the AI is done writing all the code, for all the screens, you'll be able to find a live preview of the same towards the right side in here. And it says, I'll take 10 to 25 minutes to build as per your request. Okay, well researched, well designed, well written and functional solution each time. And now if I move over to this code section right here, here I'll be able to see the code that the AI is writing in real time. 
so i don't know if it make any sense but if you want to look at the code that the ai is writing so you can go ahead and view all of that for example right now the ai is creating the header.jsx component and you can find the code for the same in here and now this process will take some time so i'll see you afterwards all right so it is done and it says created a comprehensive link in bio platform with mobile first responsive design registration login profile and dashboard pages implemented social authentication added profile customization and all that and now i can find a preview towards the right side and next up it is asking us to connect superbase so obviously we need to add a full-fledged user authentication system and also a database so that we can store all these links and profile information and everything else and for that obviously you will need to connect your superbase account and create a project by the way and it is also giving me this demo credentials that i could use Okay, in which ways, next up, we'll go ahead and connect and create a new Superbase project. And now here I have already connected a Superbase account. And now if this is your first time, you'll find a connect button. So you can click on that button right there and then authorize Superbase. So that way we can link Superbase with rocket.new. And after that, I'll click on this button that says create a new Superbase project. And now I can go ahead and give it a name. Let's say link tree and a random password. And now you can go ahead and select the location or the region and then click on this create a new project button uh, never okay all right so it says integrating superbase project with your app and now what happens is that the ai will go ahead and write all the migration queries or like let's say the sql queries that it needs to let's say to create the tables and then also go ahead and integrate the same to use the actual login form in here and once that is configured we can actually go ahead and test the real functionality of our app so let's wait and by the way, if you don't already have a Superbase account, all you got to do is to head over to superbase.com and sign up for a new account. So once you sign up, you can close this one and go ahead and connect the same from your rocket.new account and you should be pretty much sorted. And for starters, Superbase is like a backend as a service platform that allows you to sort of add a real database, authentication, storage buckets and all that to your app very easily. So that's for Superbase. So just in case if you don't already have an account, just go ahead and sign up for an account. And by the way, it does have a free plan, which is generous enough for you to create all these projects. So that part is done. All right. So there you go. So it says your project schema is ready to push to Superbase. And if you click on this one, you'll be able to view the actual schema file that the AI has created. So first of all, it is creating some custom types, then creating a user profiles table, then links table, then some for analytics creating all these indexes and also creating all these RLS policies to make sure everything is secured and also all these triggers and everything else. Okay. So helper functions. So all I got to do is to click on this push to Superbase button right here and now rocket itself will go ahead and create all these tables and then RLS policies, everything in our Superbase account. So if I go to Superbase now and I'll open my dashboard select the organization and this right here is the project and now if i move over to this table editor section right here as you can see rocket itself has went ahead and created three of these tables that is link clicks then links and user profiles and also added some dummy data as well okay and next up we can go ahead and try using it so first of all it is asking us to create an account by the way i guess we have this demo login info that i could use so maybe i can go ahead and view the sign-in page and this right here is the sign-in page and i'll put my email and also the password and i'll click on sign in let's see all right so here we are logged in so it seems like we have some error but don't worry as you can see rocket itself has detected the error and now all you gotta do is to click on this pop-up right here and now click on this fix it button option and now the ai within rocket.new itself will go ahead and analyze the error code and find the root cause and fix it for you so you don't have to touch any code or anything so let's wait for it to fix the error all right so there you go the error is fixed and you can also find what exactly the ai did and now i'll try to log in again so i'll go to the sign in page and copy the details oh here we have it so demo and also the password click on sign in and there you go so this right here is the app that the ai has created for us and right now we can find okay as soon as you log in you'll be taken to the dashboard and i can find a profile picture welcome back your profile url okay that's cool you can find some statistics like total clicks total links active links and all that here you can find all these links and this animation hover animation is also actually really great we can find the recent activity and also the option to customize the profile view analytics and account settings which again is the options that you have in the navbar towards the top 
so maybe oh wow that's actually great so if i move over to this analytics tab i can find i mean i can uh, filter it by date range i can find some chart in here pie chart in here i mean i can find all the data that i need geographic distributions like the country from where the people actually clicked my link and now if i go to the customize section i'll be able to customize how my link or let's say the preview page looks like or the profile page looks like so i can change the color upload a different profile picture change the display name bio i can change my username or the link actual link and also add all my social media handles up in here maybe let's say astro.ai okay and if you want to you can go ahead and select the color theme wow look at that i mean we just went ahead and what wrote like two sentence right i just wanted to create a app like linktree users would be able to add links and then i pressed enter and connected superbase and look at the kind of features it has created in just one shot so that is actually the main thing so normally what happens is that when i create some kind of apps like this i'll have to go ahead and build it step by step okay so every time i'll have to go ahead and ask the ai to add new features and take it that way but in this case the ai has actually went ahead and one shotted the entire thing as you saw that is actually really cool i can change the accent color wow that's cool mm, okay looks good Oh, I can even pick custom colors. That's interesting. Maybe I'll go with something like, let's say. Um, okay, soft gray. For now, I'll keep it this way. Okay, layout style, modern, minimal. Bold. Okay, you can change the styling. I'll keep it as rounded. And then you can change the font. <laughs> oh my God. I'll keep it as, let's say, poppins. Okay, here we can find the button previews. And if I move over to the advanced section, here we can find even more options like the option to enable or disable analytics, uh, search engine indexing, maybe adding the no index stuff. Like if you don't want the profile to be indexed in Google, you can do that from here. Social media previews, public stats, link previews, even export and import settings too. Stop it. Like advanced, I mean, CSS editor. Wow. Oh my God, this is actually really cool. Okay. I never expected the AI to create or let's say implement these many features in just a single shot. And now I should be able to click on this button right here to save all these changes. Wow. This is super sleek. Really cool. So right after I came back, it seems like all the changes were reverted. So even after clicking the save changes button, it did not work. So that is something that we need to fix. No issues. I'll go ahead and save. After making some changes, I clicked the save changes button but none of it was saved could you please fix it yeah and now all i gotta do is to hit enter and let's wait so finally after a bit of back and forth we have our application working so now if i go to the customize page and if i go ahead and select a different color for example let's say something like this and a custom color of black and now if i click on save changes it says changes saved successfully and now if I head back as you can see the changes are now preserved and you can go ahead and change any of these and it will work okay and if you want to let's say change your username and the profile URL you have options for that too and now this is time to check the main functionality that is getting the option to add links right so if you come over to this your link section right here as you can see here we can go ahead and add a link so if I click on this add link button right here and now I can give a title, for example, let's say YouTube and maybe I can go ahead and put my YouTube uh, channel URL in here, just like that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and give a description and then select a category like social media work and all that. Choose an icon or you can even let it to select auto detect from the URL. Maybe it will use the fab icon and now we have custom settings in here as well. OK, all of that looks good. And now if I go ahead and click on the save button, as you can see, it will be added in here. So there you go. Okay. And now if I go ahead and visit my profile, so this right here is the address and now I'll put that in the address bar and there you go. I can find my newly added YouTube link in here and okay. So yeah, there you go. And now if I want to, let's say toggle the visibility, for example, if I don't want to show this one, I can click this button right here to hide it. As you can see, the link is now hidden. And if I head back and refresh once again, as you can see, it is gone. So I'll go ahead and enable the same. So there you go. I can enable it. 
by clicking on this i button right here and now yet another cool thing is that you can even go ahead and rearrange it by dragging and dropping the you know links to rearrange the order as well so all of that is done so the basic and the core functionality of our app is indeed working and next up if you want to you can also go ahead and ask the ai to sort of replace all these dummy data with actual data for example in the dashboard as you can see here it says 495 total clicks five total links and three active links and all that so it is kind of like you know all of these are dummy data for example this total links and three active links are correct but this one right here that is total clicks is dummy data similarly if i go to analytics all these data are like you know placeholder data for the time being so if you want the ai to sort of make it functional all you gotta do is to just go ahead and send a message and ask the ai to collect all these analytics data and store them in the database and the ai will do the needful so just like that with just a couple of prompts we were able to create a link tree clone entirely using ai and now to make the changes live and to publish the website all you gotta do is to click the publish button towards the top right and you can click on this update button right here and now all the changes that you made till this point will get pushed and you will find a url in here and you can share it with anyone and they will be able to see your website or whatever the app that you created and you can also go ahead and click on this drop down menu right here to navigate like directly navigate to a specific page for example let's say account settings page so you can directly go in there and now I'll make it smaller. And next up, if I head over to this code section right here, here I'll be able to see the code responsible for my app. For example, if I expand this SRC folder and let's say uh, pages and then maybe let's say profile customization and click on index.jsx, I'll be able to view the code for the index.jsx file. And you know what the best part is? You have complete control over it, okay? So if you want to let's say edit it, for example, add some random data in here, like code in here you can edit it and make changes and all you gotta do is to click on the save changes to make the changes live for now i'll discard so the thing is you can actually find all these code and all the files within your project in here and next up if i click on this project settings button here here i'll be able to find some details like the project name and if you want to change that you can change it but if i click on this integrations button right here i'll be able to find all the third party services that i can directly integrate into my project in a single click so as you can see, Superbase is already uh, linked to our project and we, are and we are using the authentication and database functionality from Superbase. And as you saw, we just went ahead and authenticated Superbase and within a press of a button, the AI went ahead and connected uh, our project with Superbase and created the database, implemented authentication and did everything all by itself. In a similar fashion, if you want to, let's say, implement a functionality where your app can send emails to users, well, you can simply go ahead and configure and enable the recent uh, integration. Or let's say you want to incorporate Stripe payments, well, you can go ahead and enable Stripe. Or let's say you want to show ads, then you can go ahead and integrate AdSense. Or you can also go ahead and integrate Perplexity, Anthropic, Gemini, OpenAI and all that. So that is one important and cool thing right within Rocket.new. If you want to, let's say, integrate any of these, all you gotta do is to click on this button right here. And now in this case, if you want to, let's say, integrate recent, all you gotta do is to get the recent API key, put that in here, click on save, and that should be it. Next up, you can just go ahead and ask the AI to make any changes or integrate or let's say add or implement any features related to let's say sending emails well you can go ahead and use recent for the same so that is yet another thing and next step in here you can find as to how many tokens you have left so you can keep track of the number of tokens that the AI has used for implementing a certain feature and you can also keep a tab on that so yeah that's pretty much all the you know important features of rocket.new so getting started is pretty simple all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below sign up for a new account and once you're there you can go ahead and start by telling AI exactly what you want to build and go ahead and click on the send button and now you can go ahead and build the app or whatever that you want to build after that if you want to make like say make any subsequent changes you can simply go ahead and put your prompt in here and click the send button and the AI will gladly go ahead and make all these changes so that is how simple it is so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. And if you want to, let's say, try out rocket.new, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and you can go ahead and try creating some random app and see how it works. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.